When, when you buy a commercial building, things that you need to check is the roof, and what you need to check, another place to check is the pitch pockets. So important. Now, this pitch pocket is pretty good. It's full. The water can run off. Most of them, the tar sags, and then water cannot run off, and the water collects here, and that's where the leaks are. But, look at this, the foam. The water will follow this foam to the bottom, into the boom, and that's what happened last time. So you want to check that because that's what's leaking most of the time. But I broke the foam in this case, and I filled it up with super silicon seal. You see that? The foam is broken. Water cannot follow that foam, but that's what happened. Very, very, very important to check that out. When you buy a building, you can see where the leaks are. All these pitch pockets like this. All right. Beautiful. See? Beautiful. All right. Another thing you want to check, and this is almost the most important tip I'm going to give you. If you have an EPDM roof on your commercial building, you need to find out what it is. But if it's an EPDM roof, you're going to replace the roof. No doubt. No questions. You're going to replace the roof. I don't, know, I don't care if it's a new roof that was put on one year or two years ago. That roof, you're going to replace it within a five, six, seven years. You're going to have so much trouble anymore. The EPDM roof here is now about eight years old and it's destroyed. There's nothing left. It's leaking everywhere. So eight years ago, they spent more money than they're spending now on this modified by human roof because the way I do it is there is no comparison. So you don't want to spend money over and over and over again. All right. So my advice is when you buy a building and you get an EPDM roof on a building, you got, you're in for a new roof. No matter, it's five years, maybe less, but you're going to replace that roof. Okay. Another thing. Another thing you want to check, here's another tip what you want to check, the AC units. You see, we repaired this AC unit, it's pretty nice, we put super silicone seal, but you can see this ductwork, there's a hole here, there's a hole here, the ductwork. Let me show you another one. So, super important because the ductwork causes leaks. Let me show you. You hear the Spanish music? I horrible. But this is what happens. You check the ductwork on top of a, a roof of the AC unit and they cause those leaks. Th that's what you're gonna have to check. So important things to check is the EPDM roof, it's uh, ductwork, it's the pitch pockets. And then you want to check the drains. The drains. Look at this. This is a nice drain. Has a basin. Okay. Has a basin. And it can catch water and water can flow down into the basin. And it catches the leaves here. Very nice. So alright, things to look on a metal roof. When you buy a roof, when you buy a building with a metal roof, things to look for to see if the metal roof is in good shape. One of the things are these creases. Look at this crease here. I don't have a tool here, but you see the crease there? That is because somebody stepped here and they bend it here and the water is going to leak right there. So you need to get somebody to inspect your roof and see these creases. Look at these creases. Now we fixed those, but look at it. You see the crease there? That has to be fixed. Look, okay, a lot of creases. That is going to cause a leak. That's where the roof is broken. And you can see they've been fixed before. That is number one.
Now, let me explain to you about silver coating. Silver coating is to seal the roof and protect it from ultraviolet and heat. Just right now, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, it's like 85 degrees outside. Let me show you the difference. So, I think you can see that. You see that? It's like 140 degrees right now on the roof. It's going up already. Okay, 140, somewhere there. The silver coating we applied yesterday, what is it? 80, 83, 82, somewhere there. You get an idea. It is almost a 60 degrees difference. It gets worse during the day. It goes to 180 degrees, somewhere there. 170, 175, easily on a, when it's only about 90 to 90, it's gonna be 100 degrees today in, in, in Virginia. Anyway, that's one reason. You wanna protect it from ultraviolet. Let me show you what ultraviolet does. Um, we've coated most of it, but ultraviolet causes the spider cracks. Now I don't see them very well here because this is a, but you see the spider cracks eh? Spider cracks. Now, when you get spider cracks like that on a roof, it's, it's because the ultraviolet is eating on this roof. It's really eat. And then the heat as well dries this out. So you want to protect it. You can see the spider cracks more vividly here when, where we did the coating. You see the spider cracks? But the spider cracks are not, the silver coating will not seal the spider cracks. Mm -hmm. Don't think because you have spider cracks, you're gonna paint it. Now, if you paint it very thick, you can see some areas, it's very thick here. Yeah. The spider cracks are covered. But let's crack up. This roof is almost gone. And then I wanna show you something. Um, can you see that? 100, 161, just on this roof. And this is, uh, what's the date? September the 5th. It's 93 degrees outside. Let's see, 61 there. 174. Weesh, weesh. Okay. This is how hard it gets. Look. 174. The sun just came, 175. It goes up fast because the sun came out. It was cloudy. All right. I hope I've earned your sub sub. I hope I've earned your subscription, please. All right, with all these videos and all these tips, I hope I've earned your subscription and a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <clears throat>